Hello Capricorn and welcome to your February 2019 reading. Uh, do keep in mind this is a general reading so this may or may not resonate with you. Uh, so just take what does and leave what doesn't. So um, I already shuffled the deck to save time. These are the cards that came out. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and start reading for you guys. So we have here the Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, um, followed with the Three of Swords, Clarified, Five of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Um, so we have here, you guys um, <clears throat> are getting ready, um, possibly. Uh, we, we have three aces in this reading. Uh, the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and then again, the Ace of Wands came out again. So um, aces always signify new, new beginnings. So you guys could be grabbing hold of some sort of um like you will be getting some sort of inspiration or um you're grabbing hold of some sort of new opportunity new start um in february some of you guys this could be surrounding um some sort of family um matter some of you guys could have a new start um in a relationship maybe you're dating somebody that's um, from a wealthy family so we have here I feel like um, this card to me is almost like pre heartbreak um, or not really like heartbreak there could be some sort of maybe um, like anxiety um, or like a feeling of like regret or like loss here with the um, Three of Swords. I almost get like a bittersweet kind of energy. I almost feel like somebody here is like leaving the nest almost because we have the Ten of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles, which is a woman here um, who's, you know, very um, well off on her own. So maybe somebody um, is leaving the nest here um, and they're just like going off on their own for like the first time and like they still have um, like their like their family support but like you guys are like going off like on your own perhaps. Um, yeah. Because it's almost like, this makes me feel like, this gives me like empty nest vibes. Like you go from like the ten of pentacles to the five of pentacles, but there's nobody really that's outside in the cold. Or not yet at least. Maybe this is like pre... Like pre being left out in the cold, but... Um, but it's almost like maybe, because we also have the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, so maybe somebody, maybe you have received some sort of family inheritance, some of you guys out there. Or this, but the Ace of Pentacles, this could be like um, a job offer um, or some sort of like material gain. Um, money coming in right yeah just you know something like job money just something material coming in the high priestess here you guys could be using your intuition um just like overall but you guys could definitely be using your intuition when it comes to these offers that are coming in um maybe these offers are divinely guided they're um they were meant to to play out for you these new starts but yeah but maybe um because this to me almost looks like a mom or like a dad looking at their son their son or daughter this to me almost looks like a parent looking at a child that's trying to make a decision here Maybe they were, you know, giving some sort of helpful advice. Because we have mountains here. 
in the background and mountains can symbolize um like obstacles and challenges so like maybe maybe like you know that that you're gonna have some obstacles some challenges ahead of you like this this parent this person knows um yeah the twos always represent some sort of choice so there is going to be some sort of choice that you guys are going to have to make maybe concerning two two different offers perhaps um Or, you know, this is just you guys, like, just working um, on maybe giving an offer. Maybe maybe you're wanting um, to grab a hold of a pentacle of something, and you're making a choice, a decision to offer maybe something to another earth sign. Or just, um, or just to someone who you know, who you think, um, who just seems to you to be very um, fine on their own. Or this is you guys just also being very fine and comfortable on your own, or wanting to be, um, wanting to be in this energy. Maybe, maybe you're wanting to get to this. Wanting to be um, secure and stable and financially well off on your own. Um, and perhaps you are going to get an offer that will get you to this. To where you want to be. So... I mean, you guys, Nine of Pentacles does represent Virgo, so you could be dealing with a Virgo, but any sign could be dealing with an Aries. They have the Emperor here. Um, you know, could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, such as yourself, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, the Hermit. The Hermit also represents Virgo. Um, could be dealing with a water sign, but... Yeah, but perhaps maybe the emperor can also um, represent like a a father figure. So maybe some of you guys um, are dealing with um, your father. Perhaps maybe maybe your father has some sort of significance. Maybe. Um, I don't really know why like the five of the five of cups is here. Like I don't really know like who's sad. Um are you sad, Capricorn? Or is someone you're dealing with sad? Maybe maybe there's some Aries. Um maybe like you're upset involving some sort of Aries or like someone's father is sad or or you're sad about um a, like your father or maybe like the father of your children if some you know if any of you guys have like children out there or um cuz someone's someone's focusing on on something he's this person or you you're really concerned about these spilled cups here um but you're not you know, you're not really paying attention to these, you know, to this person who's, like, floating down the river who needs your help. You know, you're not, like... Because the Emperor represents um, a very, you know, someone that has, like, a lot of authority. Um, perhaps you do. Maybe you have a lot of authority at your job. Maybe you're getting some sort of promotion, which is going to put you in some sort of position where you have a lot of authority and the emperor is very good at like you know like managing you know things i feel um and good at like getting stuff done um you know this could just be you managing very well at work um or managing you know these these two new offers these these new beginnings very well um
And then, uh, but let me talk about these cards over here, moving on from these two. So these cards over here, with the uh, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the Hermit, Knight of Cups. I want to say, with the Seven of Pentacles, just be careful of any get-rich-quick schemes out there. Um, but I feel like this is you guys um, walking away with your pentacle. You know, like this offer comes in. Um, you might have planted some seeds. You might have been working on, you know, on some stuff in your life. And then all of a sudden, like, this offer comes in. It's going to put you here. And you're just kind of like, all right, like, bye. Like, you take this pentacle and you're, like, off and running with this offer. Um, and maybe it's almost like you're leaving this other stuff that you were tending to behind. You could come back to it, you know. Maybe may, may, maybe you're not leaving it behind, but, um, you know. Because this person's still, like, looking, I feel at this bush so maybe you know he's taking like the one fine you know piece of crop and he'll be back to tend to the rest of the bush but um yeah i feel like this is you capricorn you guys you guys are taking both of these offers here this is you reaching out, or this is the universe getting ready to grab a hold of this opportunity to present it to you, or this is you going after this new start, this new vision. This, whatever this, this, um, you know, whatever this Ace of Pentacles is coming in for you, I feel like this is definitely divine. I feel like this is coming in for you, and the Ace of Wands is what you're pursuing, and you don't even see this coming in with the high priestess here but maybe you intuitively feel that that something else is coming in for you while you're actively you know trying to pursue and make choices in other areas of your life um i think the ace of wands could also represent um a message communication maybe um a new start in love Yeah, but um, whatever this um, whatever this Ace of Wands is, is really on your mind. You guys are really going within. I feel like whatever this um, job or like money material aspect is, you guys are fine with it. You know, you're grabbing it and you're going with it and it's fine. But whatever this Ace of Wands is, is I feel weighing very heavily on your mind. And it could have to do... Um, you know, because we do have the Knight of Cups here, so it could have to do with some sort of love offer. Um, maybe you're dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You don't have to be, but it could be any sign, you know, Aries, Leo, Sag, any sign. Um, just, um, you know, just be careful. Try not to take the Knight of Cups too seriously. The Knight of Cups, you know, tends to get very distracted easily. Um, but yeah, you guys are trying to um, come to some sort of understanding or find, you know, some sort of truth. You're going within. Um, you could also, the Hermit here. This could be telling you, maybe um, you guys are embarking on some sort of spiritual journey, some sort of spiritual quest. You might be, because um, there's a lot of focus on material aspects here, the everyday, like responsibilities, work, bills, chores. And maybe you're neglecting a relationship or like maybe some sort of love relationship, like just or like a friendship, something. Because your back is turned to the upright two of cups. 
So I feel like there's some sort of connection. Maybe um, somebody, maybe you've been wanting a connection with somebody or somebody's been wanting a connection with you or maybe wanting to deepen or strengthen a connection with you. Um, whatever it is, it's like somebody here is like calling out for help in this situation. In this relationship. And maybe somebody here, whether you or this person, they're focused on um, the negative qualities of this relationship. The negative aspects of this relationship. And they're not really focusing on the positive aspects of this relationship even um maybe maybe even when it comes to you maybe they're focusing too much on on your negative traits maybe you guys are focusing too much on your negative qualities your negative traits and not and not your your positive traits in this relationship um maybe somebody here is selfish in this relationship because the knight of cups in this card is drinking from this cup um it's very interesting um to bring up the I want to bring up the Knight of Pentacles because usually like the Knight of Pentacles in like the traditional like Rider Waite deck, um, he's known as the slowest moving knight in the deck. But when you see him in in in, in this deck here, um, the Knight of Pentacles has the pentacle in his hand and he's extending it. And in this deck it's almost like he's the slow one in this deck, if that makes sense, because he's just kind of like, eh, just like stop that, like this waterfall, like taking his time, like just drinking from this cup. Blah, blah. Um, I mean, there's, there's many ways that you